Welcome to Electra Online. Now let's compare the various ways in which interest can be earned. We can do it using simple interest or compounded either yearly, monthly, daily or continuously. And let's compare the results on the same investment. $800 invested at 5% for six and a half years. So first, simple interest. We haven't seen this one yet, but the amount that we end up with after t years is equal to the principal multiply times one plus the rate times the time. So in this case, it's $800 invested, one plus the rate, which is 0 0.05, that's 5% converted to a decimal, times six and a half years. So it's essentially $800 times 1.325, which is $1,060. So simple interest means that after six and a half years, they simply calculate 5% times 6.5 years, and they add the interest to that. So we've earned $260 worth of interest on the $800 investment. But if you compound it yearly, which means that every year you, can, you calculate the interest and then you add it to the principal, you will end up with $1,098.55. But if instead you compound it monthly, and notice how the equation changes, so here you have 1 plus r to the t power, but here you get 1 plus r divided by 12, because monthly means that we have 12 conversions, raised to the 12 times t power, and for daily, we have the principal times 1 plus r over 365, because there's 365 times that they calculate the interest and add it to the principal, and then the exponent will be 365 times t, which in this case is six and a half years. Notice, for daily compounding, we earn a we end up with $1,106.48. Daily compounding is $1,107.20, and continuous compounding is two pennies more than daily compounding. So after you get to monthly compounding, there's not a lot to be gained by going from monthly to daily and from daily to continuous. Both monthly and daily are used in certain instances. For simple accounts, daily is the, the common way. But for, for example, when we do annuities, maybe they only will add the monthly add-on for the investment earned or the interest earned. So monthly compounding and daily compounding are the most common ways institutions work with financial investments. And that is how it's done. For 35 years, yes, you will get a greater divergence in the amount of money you earn. Uh, definitely, there will not be a lot of difference between daily and continuous, but between monthly and daily, there will be some measurable difference. But yeah, 35 years is a long time. So it doesn't matter much? I would say it matters too much, no. And so when they do monthly compounding on annuity kind of investments, it's kind of the norm because with annuities, you tend to add to it every month. And so that's the way they typically will invest it. And 